I don't know about you, but are you tired of tripping over that wire or being tethered to that computer? It's time to play Quest 2 with no wires. If you haven't did this already, this will be a good guide to show you how to do it. If not, if you already do have it and are having problems, hopefully this video will help you optimize it and get the best out of it. Either way, we're getting into this. Okay, number one, you're going to want to install this correctly. When you buy virtual desktop from the Oculus Store, don't download it after that. Buy it, but don't download it. You're going to want to use SideQuest to sideload it because it's the SideQuest app, the one that gets sideloaded that works. If you try to play games with the Oculus Store version, the regular I buy it and download it, this isn't going to work. So the number one thing is make sure you're using SideQuest and sideloading it. And I'll have links in the description on how to do that. Number two is to check your network environment. Make sure you have a good network going. You're going to want a newer router, something not super ancient. You're going to want something that has at least a gigabit Ethernet connection. I know my old router only had 100 was the cutoff, but you want something that goes to at least a gigabit. And you're going to want to plug your PC in with a Ethernet cable directly. If you try to do wireless to your router and wireless to the Quest, you're, it's going to be a lag fest. So what you want to do is make sure you're plugged into a router with an Ethernet cable. When it comes to the Quest side, you want to make sure you have good bandwidth. So either get a dedicated router to use for VD, or you're going to want to take all your other devices that are just hanging out on that router and move them to the, this smaller 2G network and only use your Quest on the 5G network. You just want to stop the congestion on your network because like I said, it has nothing to do with internet. So if it's going slow or it's lagging, it's your router most likely or your connection or your network environment because internet has nothing to do with us. You should be getting good speeds regardless. Number three, settings. I'm gonna show you what I have set up here but again, this works for me. It might not work for you. One thing I usually do is just max out everything. Why not? Start everything at max, and then if it's not working well, start bringing it down a little. But um, 90 frames per second, definitely a good one. And streaming bitrate, you want to put all the way up as far as you can. All these other side things, uh, trial and error, maybe they work for you, maybe they won't. Like like the slice encoding is it works for some gpus might not work well for others it works well for me so again these are trial and error kind of things but as the most important thing is bump everything up as high as you can and then work your way down another problem if the game is too graphically intense if your settings in the actual game are too high then it's going to cause unnecessary lag and you're going to think it's vd lagging out but really it's a combination of your computer trying to actually play the game and then trying to stream it to you at the same time. So another thing you could do is go into your actual, the game you're playing, the settings, and lower your resolution down a little and see what happens. I know I had one game where I could usually play everything full settings, high resolution, but I forgot what game I was playing, but it just, it went terribly. I had to actually go in and lower the resolution a little because it was just lagging so much that I would turn my head and see black screens for a little while until it loaded in. And again, I thought it was virtual desktop, but really it wasn't. It was just I was trying to play this game way above settings and stream it to my quest at the same time. So number one, side load the app. Number two, check your network environment. Make sure you have a decent network or nothing clogging it up. And number three, these settings, just make sure bit rates bumped up, FPS is bumped up, graphics quality is bumped up, these other side things you might have to experiment with, but you can get there. I play online. Anyone who watched my live streams, I can play Pavlov online while streaming live, and everything works fine. I have no problem with it. So, again, check your routers, make sure you're plugging an Ethernet cable, make sure your settings are good. 
all else fails, lower the quality of the game a little. There's nothing wrong with pumping it down for a second, seeing if it plays better. The way I do it is, like I said, I go big. I set everything as high as it can. And then when it lags in turtle speeds, then I start bringing it down a little and, and fine tuning it. But that's it. It's, it's really that simple. Download the app, side, side app it, plug your shit into a, a router with a cable. Make sure you have a, not a lot of things on your router. Pump up your settings and give it a try. All right, YouTube, that's it for me. Uh, hopefully this helped you get your virtual desktop up and running better or optimize it a little more because I don't like being tethered to computers or wrapping myself in six feet of wire. So you definitely want to play vir with virtual desktop if you can. Hope this helped. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. Peace.